Free Converter is one of the best free online conversion tools. Imagine being able to convert almost any file type with also not having to download an application, no registration, very little advertisement. This online conversion tool is best suited for people with limited resources or those that have limited need for complex changes to their file. Let me show you how it works. Simply choose upload file from a device. If the file is on your computer storage or select other relevant options. This converter is great because it's the easiest option, but the downside is that it's fairly slow at doing its tasks. And if you have a limited internet or no internet connection, this option could hamper your ability to convert or retrieve the file. Because you need a good internet connection to upload the file and a good internet connection to download the file, you need about five megabits up and down if you don't want this process to exceed 20 minutes. I can upload the files almost instantaneously and same for downloading. The actual conversion, once this website has your file, is actually fairly quick because they use server machines to get the job done. These online websites have invested thousands on machines to do the conversion for us, which is why if you like to service, donate because a little goes a long way. The video converters work like this. Either they're extremely easy to use but they may not have all the features you need. They might not support the correct file types or file extensions, or they're way too complicated and they cost a lot of money. So the question arises, where is the middle ground? Which video converter is the one that's free, cheap, and robust enough to convert all of your file types to the desired file formats? We're gonna find out today. Since the goal of this video is to save you time, I want to tell you about the video converters that I like the most. So today I want to talk about the best video converters for PC and Mac. I'll be doing a pros and cons analysis and we're going to find out which video converter is best for you. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below because I am replying to all comments. All right, let's get into the video. Two important things to remember when converting video files. There are file formats and codecs. A file format is a type of container where the codec sits in. The codec is a type of compression that is used to reduce the file size. Applications use different file types and different codecs based on the need and type of job they are doing. So when we are trying to change the file type or the codec type, it is because the target application simply doesn't support the file which is why we need to convert it so we can use the file. Next up, we have VideoProc. This application is perfect for novice users and expert users alike. It comes with a free download so you can try it before purchasing it. And actually, the free version contains a lot of useful features and it might be adequate for most users. The thing that makes VideoProc special is that it's powerful enough to convert all video types, but also it's very easy and simple to use. It also contains a few other useful apps like the Media Downloader, and that allows me to download any video or song from any website. Just plug in the URL into the application to download it to your PC or Mac. It takes almost no setup time. Just install the app and launch it. Once you're on its home screen, you can start the converting right away. This is so useful. I can't believe it almost has everything you need in just a few clicks. It is very modern in its approach. It even allows you to modulate the bitrate if you want to reduce the file size to save space. You can work with all file types and codecs. Let me show you how easy it is. From the bottom row, you select the type of codec or file type you want. You can do it based on popular videos, device type, or if you are working with music, these tabs can be very helpful. If you are unsure, simply drag and drop the file into the window and the pre-screen will pop up and allow you to customize the file type prior to conversion. You can even edit the video file directly inside VideoProc. If for instance, say you want to cut the beginning or the ending out of the video. When ready, just press run and it converts the file very fast. 
I highly recommend all my viewers and subscribers to download this application and give it a shot. So I have a question for you guys. What converter are you currently using? What converters have you used? And which converters are your favorite? I also want to know what converters you're staying away from. Adobe Media Encoder is considered among the best of the video converters. It provides a wide choice of video codecs and file types, but is not the best for all customer types due to its complexity and cost. Adobe also forces you indirectly to buy in and go all in on their application suite, which again can be costly for the wrong type of customer. To get Adobe Media Encoder, you need a few other different applications, either Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. And to get that, you will also need Creative Cloud. Adobe forces you to buy in on their cloud solutions, and it's a costly endeavor if you go this route as a novice individual. If you want the best, you will also need to pay the most. It costs anywhere from $20 to $60 a month. Keep in mind, this is still on the low end of costs. Oftentimes it costs more. This is almost 12 times the cost of other leading brands, which offer something similar. Some of the other cons to this product is that Adobe products tend to be so complicated that there are Adobe customers who don't even understand how to purchase their products. For instance, there's people on their very own form asking how to purchase Adobe Media Encoder because it's not clear. I myself still run into issues where I can't even find the download button to their product, even though I have been a customer for many years now. Over time, Adobe products have become complicated, almost to the point of just being complicated for no reason. You also need a fairly powerful neural computer, as the system requirements for a medium to high-end desktop or laptop, which could cost you about 700 to 1000 USD just to run this application. But if you're running a company, these applications make a lot of sense. If you are a company or an expert user who needs help navigating Adobe product suite, contact me via a comment below in this video for same day reply. Let's take a look at the capabilities of Adobe Encoder. As you can see, it comes included in my purchase of Adobe Premiere Pro as a bonus application, since you cannot purchase it on its own. This costs me around $60 a month, but I consider myself an expert user and will have employees soon, so this application is useful to me. The user interface resembles something from the late 90s to early 2000s. The engineers at Adobe haven't updated its look and feel since its release almost 17 years ago. However, it allows you to customize these windows, resize them or remove them altogether. It gives you the cool dynamic workspace. It may be old, but it feels pretty good overall. Let's see the different types of codecs that are offered for conversion. It is a very comprehensive list there are even presets. Say you want to upload to YouTube or other social media platforms. You can convert the video to have the most optimal codec for the platform you're working with. Doesn't matter the type of file you have, this encoder can do the job. So me personally, I really like VideoProc. And the reason is because it's a very good delicate balance of all the right things that I need. I need my program to work without any issues. I need my program to be able to convert to any type of file types. Most of the file types that I use, I need it to be able to convert it to. And I need it to be relatively cost effective. Video product is definitely my favorite one. I do also use Adobe Media Encoder. However, I don't recommend it for most people because it's too expensive. Like most Adobe products, you have to buy into them and the monthly fee could be up to $60 or more depending on which packages you get. And I don't like how the Adobe products are always crashing. That's one of the things I really just don't like about the Adobe products. But I, I, I'm telling you that DigiArty really figured it out. They're just right in the middle with the, the performance, with the file types that they support, and with how easy it is to use. I absolutely love that they figured that part out. Guys, tell me about your favorite media converters. I really want to know. Leave a comment down below. And have you used any of them? I really want to know what your guys' experiences are like. The more of us comment, the more of us discuss it, 
the better it'll be for everybody. All right, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope you subscribe and that I see you in the next one. All right, take care. Cheers.